Welcome to Super Rich Daily. In today's video, we're going to take you inside this huge cargo airplane. Even though we live in a digitized world where distance no longer matters, transporting items from one continent to another still requires a significant amount of work. On the other hand, certain items are simply too difficult to transfer using traditional means. Take, for example, Boeing, the American aircraft company. It was revealed in 2003 that the fuselage of their new passenger plane, the 787 Dreamliner, would be made up of many one-piece barrel-shaped sections of up to 31 meters in length, rather than bolted together metal slabs. As a result, the aircraft is smaller and lighter Later, but getting the plane's parts from the places they were made – Italy, Japan, Kansas, and South Carolina – to Washington State for final assembly is now significantly more difficult. Boeing eventually came to the conclusion that it would have to come up with a solution on its own. Four of Boeing's 747s were purchased from Chinese and Malaysian airlines and converted into a new type of plane capable of airlifting parts for the Dreamliner. Before being dubbed Boeing 747 Dreamlifters, the aircraft were known as large cargo freighters. In September 2006, the first Dreamlifter took to the tarmac in Taiwan. It was taken to Boeing's Seattle facility for flight testing, and 747BC was the registration number. The Boeing Dreamlifter is a freight plane with a large body. It has around 65,000 cubic feet of cargo area, providing commercial airlines with a significant quantity of storage room. To put the capacity of the Dreamlifter's cargo hold in perspective, a typical 747-100F jet can transport two to three times the volume of material. The Dreamlifter isn't cheap, with an anticipated program cost of $1 billion. It does, however, have some amazing characteristics and features that make it an appealing option for commercial airliners looking for a cargo jet. It is a massive vessel measuring over 235 feet long, but also 70 feet high. It has a maximum takeoff weight of more than 803,000 pounds and a Mach 0.82 cruise speed. Because of its large size and high cost, Boeing has only produced four Dreamlifter units so far. Three of them were finished in 2008, and the fourth was completed in 2010. We used a saw to split the fuselage in half. Then we removed the tail and built a 3-meter portion at the top to make room for the 787 sections, David Beck, a Boeing engineer, confirms. The tail of the craft is hinged to the rest of the fuselage, allowing it to swing open once cargo operations begin. Before the plane takes off and goes to its next destination, Dreamlifter components pass through the plane's open tail on a system of rails. This reduced the time it takes to ship 787 components from one month to one day. He describes it as, quote, simply a wonderful tool. The Dreamlifter may appear to be an oddball, but it's not the only plane that opens at odd angles. The US military services have relied on Lockheed Martin's strategic airlift C-5 Galaxy since the late 1960s. It is a mean-looking 75-meter plane that can flip open its nose and tail to permit cargo in. When necessary, it may even kneel on its landing gear to stoop lower. From Vietnam to Iraq, the aircraft has been a mainstay of US military missions. It has a cargo capacity of 880 cubic meters, which includes tanks, ammo, and Apache helicopters. It has the capacity to transport up to 75 troops. The Dreamlifter is not the only wide-body freight plane available. Airbus has a comparable model. The Beluga XL, as it is known, is significantly larger than the Boeing Dreamlifter. What is the precise size of the Beluga XL? The Dreamlifter has 65,000 cubic feet of cargo volume, whereas the Beluga has an incredible 78,000. The Dreamlifter was the biggest freight aircraft when it was first introduced. The Beluga XL, on the other hand, currently holds this honor. The Dreamlifter Boeing has played a critical role in the corona outbreak. It has been used to transfer crucial medical supplies that were in severe need. Against the COVID-19 epidemic, the supplies were distributed to frontline healthcare professionals. Boeing wants to assist local communities as well as the brave healthcare staff who are working tirelessly to stop COVID-19 from spreading. Additional aircraft transport operations will be possible in the future thanks to the Boeing Dreamlifter. The company is now often in contact with US government officials to discuss the best ways to help the most vulnerable regions. Have you ever gotten a chance to view a Boeing 747 Dreamlifter up close and personal? Let us know what you think and what you've learned in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.